show me your green knives. Open tag. I'm starting in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Show me your green knives. Oh, yes. I like the green knives. I have a green brain. Yes, I want to see the green knives. Some people call me Peppa, but really inside I'm green. Yeah. Oh, you look into my brain. Are you, I, I want to see green knives too. Green knives are freaking killer. The little leprechauns out there. Show me your green knives. I got green eyes. That's right. In honor of St. Patrick's Day. Coming up in a week or two. I want you to show me your green knives. And green bobcats. Bobcats. Where's that? Bobcats. I think uh, Sean of Watch City Knives really enjoy this open tag i bet he has more than a few knives sean jump in on this and i'm sure he'll get a kick out of all these green knives that's right st patrick's day it's coming up um about a week so all you leprechauns out there show me your green knives uh i didn't realize i had so many green knives I um, am going to break this up into two parts. Um, the first part is going to be 10 USA made green knives. And the second part will be 12 imported green knives. Uh, so let's get this going with the first green knife I ever got. It is a Case Slimline Trapper in Kentucky Bluegrass mode. Yeah, they call it bluegrass. I don't see much blue in here. I know the old bluegrass bone had much more blue. I do see a few tints. This is the Slimline Trapper. Stainless steel, no half stops. It is 61048, made in USA. Good little steak knife. Slim carry, single bladed. Um, let's go on to my emerald green medium jackknife. This had come out. I really wanted to get a jackknife. Uh, the pictures made it look to be more of a dark emerald green. Um, all bone takes different. And this one, maybe the bone's just dry. Maybe I could add some oil and it'll darken it up. You got your clip point blade, your pen blade. Kind of a bow tie shield there. No half stops. Really good snap. Small. I think it's like three and a quarter, three and an eighth. Just a little bit bigger than a peanut. Well, speaking of adding oil to knives, I picked uh, this emerald, or excuse me, green apple bone mini copper lock. Love this green bone. So I like uh, flushed and lubed up the pivot. It was really smooth, but I just like to do that with my knives. And you can kind of see how the oil went into the bone up here and darkened it. So usually it looks like this, lighter green. And the oil really, really darkened it a bit. I'm sure it'll dry out. I could flush it out with uh, warm soapy water. So I'm wondering if I do that to my emerald green, if it will darken it up. So be weary. Your dry bone will absorb oil and darken it. Kind of looks cool. It gives it some character. Let's go on to uh, my small swell center jack by Case. This is Hunter Deep Canyon green. See Case on the front bolster there. A little three inch pocket knife. To me, this is like it almost is a peanut, but it's not. It's actually larger than a peanut. Cool clip point blade. You got your pen blade. It is six two two five and a half. Can't recall what the half means at this time. Really cool. Small pocket carry. Love the blue in there. Now the sun was out earlier which inspired me to do this video. <clears throat> of course, by the time we get set up and get out here, the sun's gone. 
Buck Slim Select. FRN handles. 420 Bossy Treated Steel. Thumb stud, lock back. Bad freaking ass pocket clip. Yeah, check that out. Is it a state? Is it an anvil? <laughs> uh, these are cheap, $26. Pin construction, great user, everyday workers. Fantastic. Come really sharp. On that note, Buck Slim Pro TRX S30V. Olive drab G10 with the torch screws. You got T6s, T8s holding it together. You got a nice pocket clip on this one. Great. Fantastic. EDC, lightweight. Not necessarily traditional, kind of in between traditional and modern. Great knife. Uh, let's move on to the Queen. Green Jig Bone Barlow, made in USA. I'd say by Baron Son. Tins almost look exactly the same. The black slip it comes in, sheet, or pouch, excuse me, is exactly the same. You've got 1095 carbon steel on the blade. Queen number 22. Great Barlow Finder, $55. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This up for 46 and change in Chicago. Like it so much, I'm getting the red smooth bone. Queen is back. And let's move on to some lizard skins. You know, I just showed them the other day, but they're green. Tony Bowes, Panama Trapper lizard skin. First lizard skin I got. I can't, you can't find them. Uh, on Shepherd Hills anymore. You can't find them on eBay. I think $125. Picked this up for $84. Bucks. Beautiful California clip blade. Beautiful spay blade. Swedging all down the top. Awesome. Stainless steel with half stops. Great fit and finish on this. Beautiful. Panama Trapper. Really glad I picked this one up. Of course, another amazing deal. These are now available. Shepherd Hills. It's exclusive. The Lizard Skin is Shepherd Hills exclusive. This is the Sod Buster Jr. $49.99. Great deal considering a lot of the Sod Busters are in the $60 range now. Awesome knife. A lot of you have already gotten this. And then I picked this up the other day. This would be the Lizard Skin Copperhead. Beautiful. Found this on eBay. Pretty decent deal on this one. Stainless steel. Got an awesome clip point blade. These are three and seven eight inch closed the good size pen blade half stops nice walk and talk this one centering came absolutely perfect back springs look good thank you very much case Get a little bit more yellow brown in the edges here in the bolsters this is 2021 lizard skin kind of has changed depends on the pattern they have uh, multiple ones at shepherd shepherd hills Well, I think that's it. Show your green knives. Please show me your green knives. Yes. Hey, all the monsters are coming out. Trolley wants to see them all, so please show your green knives. They don't have to be USA made. They could be imported. Just show them. St. Patrick's Day is about a week away. I got my Lucille IPA. Cheers. Take care, stay sharp, take chances, be kind.